Wow, look at that. I got it together. First time round, Java Gym with first line equipment. And here in front of us, we have the F4 Nano Grinder version two by Fiorenzato in Italy. And today I have my shirt here. I can't say what it is for copyright purposes. And I'm sporting my real gold chain, trying to look a little Guido-ish today. But unfortunately, I don't have the spiked hair for it. So I'm a little lacking in that department. Anyways, uh, let's get into business with this grinder because this is a great little grinder. We have multiple colors. Here we have the chrome uh, plated version, stainless steel tray in the front. And people will call and say, it's not stainless steel, it's white. No, the film comes off. Sometimes Firenzato will take them off. It all depends how busy they are, but in general, they will come uh, with the white film on top. Uh, they have the black front here, uh, power switch on the side. And uh, my biggest warning on a grinder is if you wake up, early in the morning and you gotta refill your espresso machine reservoir with water please do not pour the water in here we've had some customers this year do that okay so first warning of the day for this grinder is do not um, pour water into it now the grinder will have an adjustment lever or a knob uh, that can basically screw in different points Okay, so let me get that one here and we'll put that in and try not to put it in crooked. If it's a little hard to screw it in, don't force it because you don't want to uh, misthread or strip the threading on the inside. Now, typically on every grinder that I do a video on is always change the setting while the grinder is running. And the reason is you have two burrs okay that usually flat burrs or even conical if you bring them finer while it's not running the grinds that are in there will basically what will basically happen was will gunk up those burrs and then all you'll get is coarse ground espresso coffee to fix that don't take it apart take it out to the coarsest setting while running and then with beans preferably old beans that are stale bring it finer and finer 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 while the grinder is running and that usually will clear it out if not use a product like we sell called pulley grinds uh, or a, a type of uh, grind cleaner grinder cleaner for the burrs that may do it last would be to take it apart okay the bean hopper has a screw hole there's a screw on the side it's so easy you don't need the flathead screwdriver and I don't recommend it just use your hand if it's difficult to go in means you don't have the hole there lined up you also have a bean stopper okay if the grinder's not grinding check the bean stopper because that's usually what happens the other thing is and I'm going to change the settings here while it's not grinding because I've never inserted beans in here okay you do have flat burrs in there you could check our website for the size of those burrs because uh, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, I want you to go to our website so we get some clicks. And basically, if the grinder's not running, okay, and this way is coarser, okay, so the burrs are spreading out. This way is finer, okay, counterclockwise. Now, if the burrs touch, okay, you also may lock up the grinder, which it won't allow it to spin so and you won't get any coffee now you do have a little uh, stopper here that gives you a certain range in motion this screw can come out okay and if I want to take it coarser or take the burr carrier out okay and this is stepless adjustment Whew, working hard today here at first line if you do decide to take it out okay I'm getting close to this screw up here. Let me bring it down a little bit. We're getting there. If not, we'll use the screwdriver, which is probably about 30 years older than me. 
And we'll take a coarser. And there is the top uh, plate. We basically have our top burr carrier here. Okay, so steel burrs. In here are three springs. Okay, you don't wanna lose those. Do not lose the springs. I'm telling you right now. Now, if you do take it apart, make sure that you vacuum the burrs, clean them with a wire brush, uh, basically in here as well. But the secret, okay, the secret, make sure there are no grinds on the burr set here or the top carrier on plate here. You will have some, um, some type of grease here. Uh, you could use petrogel, little uh, Crisco, or a little olive oil uh, that you use cotton swabs to dip into. It is important to not have any grinds on these threads. Why? Because it'll lock and it can damage your threads. So if you have to use 50 cotton swabs, then you're gonna use 50 cotton swabs to basically clean these threads out before you insert. Okay, so if you look here, the springs are pushing up the top burr carrier. And then, okay, and also I had a customer with another grinder uh, not set this top um, plate incorrectly, and he actually misthreaded the threads into the grinder here and basically the grinder is toast, okay? Because this is part of the entire framing. So really important, and this doesn't matter which way it goes, but you know, gentle, and just try to line it up, and it will grab, and whew, working hard today at first line. Okay, keep on turning. Hopefully you kept count so you can comment below how many times and it's getting pretty tight here. And the bottom is still spinning. So I went into the bottom here, to the top, bottom of uh, burr bolt here. And if I can spin, spin with my finger, it means I'm not far enough. And then, now it doesn't spin easily. On this grinder, five is the zero point, okay? And I could just barely spin, maybe even a little different than five, maybe four and nine tenths, okay? So zero does not mean the zero point of the grinder. All grinders from Italy, from Spain, and I think Germany and other countries in Europe, the zero never shows the setting when the burrs are touching. So where the burrs touch, that number is basically a zero point. Then I'm gonna bring the grinder out a little coarser. So about seven, maybe a little less. We'll test the grinder, see how the uh, grinder, uh, basically the grind finest occur, uh, comes out. And let's get the bean hopper in. And actually what we can do is let's bring this here let's put this so there's like no play there's very little play between the settings right here so let's lift up the screw that's basically locking the grinder up okay there's a turning point and we can go that way and that way so you can lock it from here but uh, I'll, I would rather keep the screw up. Now, we'll get this screw back in here. And we'll get our flathead screwdriver, which is older than dirt. Did you pick up on that yet? We'll turn that in there. And we'll try it by hand. And it's giving me a hard time. So I can get the bean hopper like this onto the bean hopper, but I can't get the screw into place. Figure that one out. Okay, gotta press down a little harder and there we go. There is a finger guard in here. Okay, don't stick your fingers in here. You can get them close, but there is a finger guard. Okay, wanna turn on this grinder. 
and basically we have a tiny display. So we'll be right back to show you. So we have our display. It looks a little blurry here. Well, if it is, you need to, I actually started that a little sooner so I wouldn't struggle over the camera. But basically, ooh, ooh. Got it off. Hard work there, hard work. On a display here, we have, it says Firenzato. Uh, we have the time. Uh, this is probably Italian time. Uh, we are recording late here at First Line, probably six minutes after 12. Uh, the date, and again, November 13th. Uh, how many espressos we made and or uh, grind uh, times we did today, which was zero this week, zero. And it says total 21. This is a brand new grinder out of the box. I haven't even used it yet. And it shows 21. That's because Ferenzato does touch and test the grinder. Okay. So don't be alarmed if you see a higher quantity. And it doesn't say zero there on total. Okay. Because it's not. I'm telling you right now that it's, it's probably going to show 10 or 20 or 30. And the grinders are brand new out of the box. It didn't even have any coffee grinds in there. I just put some beans in here for the first time. Uh, just below that, we have our uh, adjustment for uh, the portafilter. Uh, there is a holder underneath here. So you can adjust this up or down. Okay, so it fell. Uh, there is a high point there and we have, okay. We put a little too high there. Does that look good? If it does comment down below, I want to hear about it because for me, that doesn't really look too good, but, uh, for bottomless, so different types of, uh, portafilter heights will fit. And if you want to adjust with it on, we'll put that in there and then we'll allow it to lower. And then once we find that right position and it looks like the holder, so we can remove that there and lock it into place and just double test. Okay. And we have uh, rubber mounts right here. So nice and smooth. Okay. If you hear that little noise, you'll get a little noise there. So uh, a little squeaky in the morning. Okay. To get into the menu, uh, just like their other grinders can hold this one here. Hold it in. And we have language. Uh, press enter. We have English. Enter. Okay. Now, the, the other thing is that it gets you out of the menu. So we'll have to hold it again. If you notice the up arrow there. Maybe this way. There we go. That one, down. I don't know why it's the up arrow, but it should say a down arrow. Time, if you want to set that. Time layout, 12 to 24 hours. The date. If you want to go out on a date with me, sorry, I am taken. But maybe sometime in the future. Brightness levels. Mm, let's do that. Okay, that's at 80%. And if I want to go lower, you know, nighttime. If I want to go higher, okay, hit enter and let's hold that button again. A little bit of a pita to have to keep on going back at the menu, but I'll, I'll live with it. Let's go down. Information about the grinder. Right, let's hit that. Okay. Here's your version number, probably serial number, some other stuff. Uh, some says something here by Duo Labs. That's probably the uh, company who makes the uh, the software for this. Hit enter. Okay, so now the double cup. We'll hold that one in. Okay, grind time. So this is not grind by weight. This is grinding time. Now, very very good. The problem is if you go a little finer on the on the grind fineness. You're going to have to increase the time because it takes more time. Or if you go coarser, you may have to shorten the time because it's going to grind a little faster. Okay. And I have it set for like 
Turkish coffee here. I mean, this is crazy fine, crazy fine. So let's take it a little coarser, okay? So here it says day two, week two, 10 after. Let me, I probably escaped out of the menu and hit the double cup. So down, okay, blades replacement. Blades reset, so when you if you replace the, the burrs, uh, you can reset it. Uh, factory reset, I guess to get all the settings back to the factory settings. Uh, oh, missed one. Statistics on the grinder. Manual grinding, let's go into that one. Activate manual button, yes. If you wanna turn it off, no. I'm gonna say yes. While you're waiting for me, uh, give us a, a thumbs up down below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, grinding time. And we'll go back to the other way. Manual grinding. Okay, so you see the down arrow here. It really should be the up arrow. I think it should be a little bit in reverse, but like I said, I'll live with this. Little nuances for every manufacturer grinding time. Let's hit enter. So this is where we're going to change the setting. So we have about six seconds for um, the single dose. And I'm going to say let's go to about seven. Hit enter. 12 seconds. And I'm going to say let's go to 14. See if we hold it. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, it can hold it. Wow. Awesome. 14, save. Okay, let's try the double cup quarter filter and basket. Now, there is no button here to engage your grinder, so you do need to press the button on the front. And it's still coming out really, really fine. I'm impressed with the with the fineness of the grind. Okay, tap across. That that this this consistency is really impressive, and just the the grind fineness for this little grinder. I'm I'm really impressed with it. Okay, so I would probably go like, this is probably too fine for espresso. I would go a little coarser and probably shorten the time a little bit. But this basically uh, is doing a really, really good job. I mean, this is like Turkish grind here. It's not to say that every coffee will be. What we're using in here is uh, Segafredo uh, Extra Mild um, uh, beans, which is kind of like a medium city roast, a little on the light side. but. Uh, that's pretty much it. Now, how did this get here? You have me. Uh, I know how this got here because I went to go get the beans out of the other hopper from the bigger Fearon's Auto Grinder. And as you can see, it doesn't work. Okay, so that's, uh, I'm just really, really impressed with this. Very, very impressed with the grind fineness and the quality and the consistency. So a lot of people say, oh, my grinder grinds fine. But it's actually the consistency. As you can, t the way I check grinds is with my fingers and check for the consistency and the smoothness. And next thing I know, I'll have fingerprints all over with coffee grinds. So you've just seen this wonderful grinder with really consistent grind finest. This concludes our video on this grinder. And I do have to say, if you want to clean your tray, give it a nice little blow or just rinse it in the sink. Nothing on this grinder or your portafilters is dishwasher safe, so don't throw in a dishwasher. If you have any questions or comments, please ask down below. If even better, if you can, uh, is go click on the link and ask those questions on our website for this particular grinder because we do pay more attention on our website in the Q&A section. 
and hopefully you give this grinder some consideration because I am really impressed with the build quality of this grinder, but more importantly, I'm really impressed with the grind quality and it actually shocks me a little bit for this little grinder. So uh, give it some consideration. Thank you for watching. This is Java Jim with First Line Equipment and have a wonderful Firenzato Nano Day.